Hey guys, today we're going to do a review of our motorcycle. My friend from Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs, Scott, he's been after me to do a review, so we're going to do one today. Uh, we have a Yamaha V Star 1300 with a Voyager Trike kit, so we're going to go over it a little bit and show you a little bit about it. Hope you enjoy. And guys, we're just going to do a little walk around here. I did want to show you the seats. I was an upholster all my life, and I did put the red insert in the seats, so I did uh, customize them a little bit. And we're just going to do a little walk around here to kind of give you an overview of the bike. Have the shad bags. has a louder horn on it and to be honest this horn is really not that loud wouldn't mind putting a little louder horn put a freight train horn on it would be cool not sure if the windshield is something that Yamaha puts out or what because I didn't put it on I see the Yamaha emblem in it so it could very well could be a Yamaha add-on same with the lowers there those are a, uh, a bolt on and I'll show you the uh, Speakers up front here for the extreme cycle sound. These two, well, these are waterproof speakers. I've had this unit on a couple other bikes, and it definitely is a nice little unit. We'll turn it on here in a minute. But uh, have the sp speed control. That's a lock down where you can uh, lock the speed down. All right, guys, here's our. Uh, Yamaha V Star 1300. I uh, want to show you around a little bit today. This is a 2008, the uh, 1300 with a uh, Voyager trike kit on the back of it. And uh, we've had this bike for uh, probably three years now. And uh, we don't ride it quite as much as we used to. Uh, get older it's just you don't get out as much as you like to but uh, we do take it out the last time we took this out was during bike tober fest and that had been 2018 so it's been a few months ago um, we've this windshield everything pretty much everything was on here is when we had it the uh, windshield was on it we've had a couple little issues here these lower plates here if you see this one over here on this side you can notice it's uh, it's cracked down here. I've bought the uh, uh, plexiglass and made several of them. What happens here is if you turn this too far, it hits the crash bar here. And just on an occasion, you turn it too far, and that'll cause it to crack. I try to watch that, but uh, I mean, I suppose I could remodify them, make them a little bit lower, but they do help keep some of the wind off the back of it there so we'll probably leave them as it is but that, that's one of the first little faults that we've dealt with with it otherwise we haven't had much problem with this whatsoever so that's just one of the little issues I've dealt with all right we're just going to do a little tour around it here we have these speakers here on the handlebars this is came from extreme cycle sounds I've had this system on uh, a couple other bikes before this one here. And the cool thing about it, the whole unit is right in here. This is the uh, uh, system that sets up and it'll uh, work off of an SD card, a USB card, has a built-in AM, FM radio. And you can listen to the radio stations on it. It has a... Uh, mount right here this here is the where you can adjust the uh, stations you can adjust what format you're running out of it this thing isn't a high wattage but the decibels it put out it's just amazing the sound that you get out of it we'll turn it on here in a couple of minutes and uh, show you a little bit about it but uh, we've enjoyed this quite a bit the uh, I've had changed the handle grips out here 
have a little more of a comfortable handle grip on them. Now I do have a speed control, which is just the lockdown version of the speed control. I use that off and on. It, uh, it's helpful on those long trips where you can get your hand off the handlebars for just a little bit. All right, guys, I haven't started this up uh, since October, and this is in February, so it's been a few months. As a rule, this thing will start right up with no problem, so let's just check this out. Okay, guys, we haven't started it for a while. Let's just see how easy it starts. That, I mean, it hasn't been started for several months. And uh, it starts right up, no problem. This thing has the fuel injected, so uh, it's always been excellent at uh, starting up. You can hear the uh, Cobra pipes. It got a nice little sound to it. I was showing you a little bit earlier the uh, uh, stereo here. Push this button here in the middle to uh, turn it on. Okay, you see, and I'm playing off a uh, memory card. Okay, let's uh, turn this up a little bit. I didn't play it very long because I'll get a copy right there, but uh, you can hear the uh, sound is pretty good. The uh, I can switch it to the different um, modes if I put it on the uh, FM mode. This is the FM radio. Shot by three Orange County deputies last night. Orange County Sheriff John Mina says they were called to the Citra at Windermere Apartments where LaForest Gray Jr. was fighting with a woman and dragging her by her hair. Uh, the shooting was captured on Instagram by the suspect uh, himself and were the process. Right, I've always tried to keep it pretty clean. We uh, take pride. I've always taken a lot of pride in my motorcycles, keeping them nice and shiny and clean there. This has some Cobra pipes on it that uh, it came this way and uh, they make a nice little sound to it uh, they got a good little rumble and uh, also the uh, you can see the uh, Voyager kit this uh, Voyager trike kit you can take this whole thing off in just a few minutes if you look down here you'll see a bolt see the big bolt one on each side you just take that bolt loose and there's a little like jacket you put behind it so it don't flip up on you and then you can basically unplug the wiring and just drive right off of the uh, Voyager trike kit. Uh, I get a lot of people thinking that it's built this way but it's not. This is just a bolt on trike kit. This is their and I forget which model this is but it's their more fancy model that fits right onto it. We uh, actually met up with the Voyager people at Daytona a couple of years ago during bike week and they checked it over and said it was mounted properly. It does have a hitch on it. If you wanted to pull a little trailer with it, you could uh, actually pull a trailer around with it. Uh, this thing tracks nice and true. Um, it does pull a little bit uh, to the right because the curvature of the road and they preload them there, but there's really only so much you can do to completely take that out. I've talked to some other guys with some other full trikes like the Harleys and that. They don't seem to have the same issues with it, but that's probably one of the only issues you tend to have to uh, constantly put in pressure on the uh, right handlebar because it wants to kind of go to the left because of the, the curvature in the road. The roads have like a for the water wash off and that tends to show up there. So uh, Probably one of the only issues, uh, older guy, you know, my arms tend to get a little tired of holding that that way. So a uh, little different riding than what a standard two wheel is. But for me and Sue, it works out good. It's uh, easier for her to get on and off and uh, to balance it up. You don't have to worry about putting your feet down at stops and that. So, cause they won't fall over or nothing. Uh, it has a shad tour pack on the back and uh, also has the shad bags on the side these are these are pretty nice bags they uh, i don't know if i can open that one hand but you just open there and they there's quite a bit of room in them we'll get them open here and uh, show you the inside all right i've opened up the uh, tour pack and the bags 
quite a bit of room. You can actually put both of your uh, helmets, two full helmets, and lock them inside that, or whatever else stuff. has a little uh, thing here if you want to put manuals or stuff inside there, a little locking area. Put anything you'd want up into that area there. The two saddlebags, they open sideways. They do tend to hit on the fenders when you open them up. There's a lot of room in it, but that's something you have to, the way it's configured, so you don't scratch things up. You uh, have to uh, keep track when you open it up. They have a little, just a little standard little push lock to open them up with, and they will lock. Same with the back bag locks down. So they're nice. I mean, you can haul quite a bit of stuff in here. It's amazing what you can get into these saddlebags. All right, the uh, tri kit has really nice uh, rims on it. I think that was an up feature. I didn't put this together. I bought the motorcycle this way, and so uh, I, some of the options, I'd have to really search them out, see what they actually put it. But this wasn't the, the cheapest option that Voyager makes, but it's a, a very classy look. It looks, you know, integrated right in. And it does have the third wheel. Actually, this comes out to be a four-wheeler. Your uh, wheel in the middle, which is actually more like a car tire, is flat so that the, you don't no longer you know, lean into the bike. So this is a, a flat wheel on like the regular motorcycle tire. And uh, it's it tracks really good. I've had to uh, a couple times lock them up for different reasons and the, it goes straight. It doesn't wobble, doesn't go offline. So, you know, in an emergency situation where you have to lock the brakes up, it really does track really nice and straight bike's got around 20,000 miles on it, 2008. It uh, starts and runs excellent, you know. We uh, haven't had no issues with it. We have a couple mounts here that sometimes we'll put our GoPro or little cameras on it. I've actually had a, uh, a 360 camera I've mounted to it and uh, take a few little videos while we're riding on it. So. I also wanted to uh, show you guys, I use one of these battery tenders. I keep this plugged in all the time. It has a uh, this little uh, cord here. And uh, we also have one that's wired right here to the, uh, you can see it there. It's wired right to the battery and I just plug that in. I keep that on there all the time and it uh, keeps the battery topped off all the time. So I recommend one of these, they're really good if you're not riding it every day especially. As you can see, I uh, plugged it back in, so the light's red now. Uh, it'll uh, top itself back off there and uh, have the battery all ready to go. So uh, it's always nice and charged when you're ready to take off for the next time. There you see it turned green, so it means it's already topped up and the battery's full. Okay, we're going to take a little spin around the uh, block here once. Uh, backs up. I just kind of give a push off here in the drive and it just backs right around so it is very easy to maneuver at slow paces so I've always enjoyed that part of running the bike. Now yeah, let's take a little trip around around the block here once. Of these pipes, they just 
just got a nice mellow tone to them. Camera's probably pointing off to the left. I've never used this camera on the bike yet, so it's not really an adjustment or nothing. loader coming down the street here I don't think we'll uh, tangle with him or nothing let him go by Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed our little review of our uh, Yamaha V-Star 1300 with the Voyager trike kit on it. Uh, show you a little round. This is uh, for my friend Scott. He uh, bikes boats and bivouac. Check out his channel. He's got some very cool motorcycle and traveling and boating videos. So check out Scott's channel. So uh, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of our, our motorcycle. And uh, if you uh, enjoyed it, hey, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, leave it in the uh, comment section below. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Mash down the bell button. It'll notify you of any new videos I put up. Put up videos several times a week there. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you uh, want to order some merchandise, we have uh, stickers available, we have coffee chat mugs, and we have t-shirts. Uh, just click the uh, area in where the description below and you can order it. The uh, uh, stickers are $5 each and uh, you can uh, put your address there and so we know where to mail them to. So if you want any merchandise, you can uh, click the description area. Mm -hmm.